Holy sh- Welcome to Silver Spring State Park! Yay! Silver Spring State Park is situated just outside of Ocala in north central Florida, approximately an hour and a half north of Orlando. Encompassing 4,000 acres, the park features the renowned springs, five mile long Silver River, and the surrounding Sandhill Forest. Beyond being an excellent paddling destination, the park is famous for its glass bottom boat tours. The glass bottom boat was invented at Silver Springs in the late 1870s. In addition to getting out on the water, visitors can explore the park's museum, numerous paths, hiking trails, and camping facilities. The primary paddle launch is located to the right of the main entrance parking lot which is a separate entrance from the popular glass bottom boat tours. You can rent kayaks, canoes, paddle boards, take a guided paddle adventure, or bring your own vessels. When launching your own vessel, there's a fee of $4 in addition to the $2 state park admission fee. It's a well-run and organized launch, but can get very busy. Oh shit, here we go. Silver Springs, we're promised manatees old sets from movies and monkeys and maybe some gators just a whole lot of awesome launching from the main entrance and boat launch there is a 5.3 mile one-way paddling trail which leads to ray wayside park just before the silver river meets the oklawaha river the state park runs shuttles back to the main entrance advanced booking is required or you can park at ray wayside park there is a third launch at the two mile mark down the river located in the state park camping area. However, it's a half mile walk to the water on the river trail. Jamie and I did the Fort King Paddle Trail, a shorter two mile loop around Ross Allen Island, half of which provides a secluded experience since motorboats are not allowed. There are 30 springs in the Silver Springs group, with Mammoth Spring being the largest. It's located at the headwaters of the Silver River, close to where the glass bottom boats are loaded, and supplies 50% of the entire flow of Silver River. In the same area, closer to the underwater limestone cliff, there are three statues sitting 30 feet below, left behind from the 1960s TV show, I Spy. Volunteer scuba divers continue to clean the statues to keep them algae-free. Silver Springs has served as a film set for productions such as Tarzan, Creatures of the Black Lagoon, and James Bond. Oh, there's a turtle right here. So tropical back here. It's beautiful, the color, lush, but it's a little bit freaky because there are gators around.
my god, Jamie. Oh my god, oh my god. Jamie's just calling. She's like, Bird Bath! Bird Bath, oh my gosh, Bird Bath! So we gotta go check it out. Oh, what could this be? That's so good. Holy <laughs> Holy <laughs> Holy <laughs> Oh, he's a big boy. Just clenched a little tighter. <laughs> Whoa! I live now, baby! That was so exhilarating! Oh, yes! <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're watching the gator! Just, you know, a little bit nervous and thought maybe we don't want to get too close. And then this big, big hawk came in. I think it's, uh, a red tail hawk. It's huge! They're so nice, taking photos of the turtles, enjoying the peacefulness. And then what bam, right beside the turtles, there's a gator! And then there's another gator in the back. Things to keep in mind when paddling at Silver Springs State Park. There's a slight current coming from the main spring at the head of the river flowing towards Ray Wayside Park. Watch out for glass bottom boats and be sure to yield to them. Always respect the natural environment and wildlife. Don't litter and maintain a safe and respectful distance from any wildlife. Swimming, fishing, and drinking alcohol is not allowed. Bring your camera to capture the beauty of the crystal clear waters, cypress trees dripping with Spanish moss, and the diverse wildlife including manatees, which you're more likely to see in the winter months, monkeys, not native to Florida, tons of different birds, and yes, alligators. Overall, I highly recommend paddling Silver Springs State Park for the abundant wildlife, history, and spectacular water clarity. Consider visiting earlier on a weekday to avoid peak times with crowds especially if you plan to rent equipment or book the shuttle service. And that is Silver Springs. As the ride comes to a complete stop, please exit up the ramp to the right and enjoy your rest of your day in Florida. Gators! We saw manatees, we saw it all, it was epic. That's a wrap on Silver Springs. Thanks for joining on the adventure. adventure.